What's up, turkeys? I'm back for another segment of Quitna. Don't worry, Sam will be back next week. For now, he's still on his vacation, but we'll bring him back after he gets over that whole vegetarian thing. So this week, we're going to talk about Nat and IPsec. Now, when looking at our question, we should be able to eliminate two of our answers right out of the gate. If you recall from our IPsec videos, authentication header and encapsulation security protocol, or in other words, AH and ESP, are actually protocols that we use to build IPsec tunnels over VPN networks, so we can eliminate those. Now, that leaves us with transport mode and tunnel mode. And if you remember, these modes are actually properties of authentication header and en encapsulation security protocol. Now, transport mode is not the answer, and I'll explain that here in a minute. Tunnel mode is the only way that we can maintain our NAT configuration at our perimeter device. First, let's take a quick look at NAT. If you have a machine inside of a network that wants to communicate, to the internet through a firewall. You don't want anyone on the other side of the internet to know this IP address. So if we have a 192 address, we don't want anyone on the internet to be able to see this. And that's for a few reasons, but we'll get into that later. But when they look at you on the internet, you're gonna see an address that looks more like this. And this is our public address. So NAT is what we use network address translation protocol to transition from an internal IP to a public IP. Now, in tunnel mode, in an IPsec tunnel, what we're doing is we're establishing that same connection, but we're doing it with another computer. Now, the difference here, and let's use a different color, is tunnel mode is going to allow us to communicate using that same network address translation from computer to computer. And the reason is because in the actual packet, we maintain that source IP address we discussed earlier. Whereas, in transport mode, we don't. We can only communicate from gateway to gateway, and we have to configure our gateways to route those packets back and forth to and from the original machines. All right, so now that we've discussed a little bit about IPsec, we've discussed its modes, we've discussed the protocols that support IPsec, as well as a quick recap of NAT, I hope you've learned how to more effectively answer questions like this, and we'll see you next week on Quitna.